Hey guys, it's Jeff Chan from Memory Shredded, and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite guard pass sequence. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, as well as hit the notification button so that you can update when a new video is released. The first pass is the smash pass, so sometimes we find our opponents in the seated guard position. From here, I like to control the wrists and push them away. Then I scoop up at the heels and lift them up to scoop them on their backs. Then I control the knees or the upper shins and I step one leg in and one leg out. In my example here, I step my right leg in and my left leg is stepping outside of my opponent's right leg. Then I switch my hand grips. My right hand controls the left hip of my opponent and my left hand controls my opponent's right knee. From here, I push my opponent's right knee to my right as I slide my body slightly to the left. I want to tuck the knee under my armpit. And from here, I want to sprawl 45 degrees to the right as I squish my opponent's knees together. That's why it's called the smash pass. From here, I pin the top knee with my right hand and circle to my left to gain side control. Here's another angle. I get one leg in and one leg out. I control the hip and the knee. Then I push the left knee into my right armpit and sprawl 45 degrees to my right, pinning the knees together. Then I circle to my left to pass the guard. The next pass is the knee cut, which works hand in hand with the smash pass. Once I get into my one leg in, one leg out position, I try to push my knee to my right and tuck it under my right armpit, but my opponent resists the smash pass by pushing their knee to my left. So instead of forcing the smash pass, I go with their momentum, and I get the underhook with my right arm and post with my left arm as I dive my right knee diagonally to the left, sliding my shin over my opponent's right thigh. Sometimes our ankles get caught in between our opponent's legs, so we pull up on the elbow as we push the floor with our left leg and wiggle our leg free to get into side control. Here is another angle. Next is the X pass, which works hand in hand with the knee cut. So we get into our one leg in and one leg out position. We go for the smash pass, but our opponent resists and pushes to our left. So we go for the knee cut. Now when we go for the knee cut, our opponent resists and pushes us away, not allowing us to slide our knee through. So from here, we go around the leg. First, let's make sure our right hand is controlling the left side of our opponent's body and our left hand is controlling our opponent's right knee. Then we step our left foot close to our opponent's rear end, 
then push to the left with our right arm and push the right knee to the right with our left hand, trying to make an X with our arms as we simultaneously kick our leg back and up into the air. Then the leg that kicked up into the air steps down right beside our opponent's ribs and our other leg steps to the left for balance. Then we drop our right knee onto the belly, landing into the knee on belly position. Finally, if the X pass fails, we go back to the smash pass. The sequence goes like this, smash pass, but our opponent resists so we go for the knee cut. Our opponent defends by pushing away so we go for the X pass. But now our opponent defends the X pass by locking their legs together. So we step the leg back down and push the knee into our armpit and go for the smash pass again. The smash pass should break the lock that our opponent has with their legs. <laughs> 